Hi, and welcome to another edition of Not Pinballarama. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if some of you have heard or not, but we are still kind of in the middle of this pandemic. Um, in Canada, at least for right now, they're, they're looking at having the vaccines distributed to everybody kind of in the fall of 2021. But then, even after that happens, um, we still have an unknown amount of months before we can kind of relax things, um, especially in the world of businesses where people put their grubby mitts all over machines. Um, I have a big concern about that. So for right now, I, my whole idea of opening the arcade has been put on complete hold um, just because I don't know what's going on yet. And because of that, <laughs> I haven't been working on very many pinball machines, which means that I haven't been able to make any content for this channel, really. Uh, the last couple of videos I put out was me goofing around with a solar collector, which was great fun. Um, and I have some updates on that. Um, but um, I just, I'm still working on my workshop downstairs. I'm in the studio, actually, uh, if you haven't noticed, it's a music studio. Uh, this, is, this is the thing that I've been kind of working on lately is getting this space finished up. Uh, as you, I'm starting to unpack my equipment. I'm figuring out where to put everything and get furniture in place. Um, and that's so a lot of my focus has been kind of on that and the house and some other things. So uh, I started this channel um, a long, long time ago. And it was actually me just kind of goofing around and doing whatever, just putting videos up of stuff. And then uh, when I when I got into pinball machines, I saw that uh, people were preserving back glasses using Krylon, but the process wasn't really, you, you couldn't see a video on the process from start to finish. And my very first pinball video was because of that. I wanted to see, I had never worked with the Krylon triple thick on back glasses. I wanted to see what happened. I wanted to see what happened when you put the plastic sheeting down or when you put uh, cellophane down on it. And uh, when you peel that off, how, how easily does it come off? There weren't videos of that. So that was my idea was I'm going to fill this gap in content that I'm, I'm seeing at least on YouTube. Um, and then it just, I kept making more videos kind of like that, trying to fill in the gap of content that you couldn't find um, or you could find the content, but it just wasn't really well defined. And I, I thought maybe I could try and do a better job. Um, yeah. So once I started doing that, I took all the other content off of this channel. I, I took all my other craziness off, figuring you know, let's just focus on pinball stuff. But I've got probably, I mean, realistically, we're looking at another year that I'm, I, I'm not going to really be focused on pinball stuff, but I have a lot of content to make still. I have a lot of projects that I'm working on that are unique. They kind of fill a gap in what you can find uh, on YouTube for content. Um, a lot of uh, just kind of weird stuff and just some sort of standard stuff. So one of the things I recently bought was uh, the Elisa Strike Pro SE drum kit. Really cool electronic kit. Comes with four toms, uh, I don't know, five, five cymbals. Um, uh, I had previously made uh, this, this drum pad, I don't know if you can see it, but my old drum set had a, a, just a little hard pads and I wanted a, a better feeling snare drum head. So I actually took a snare drum and uh, uh, turned it into an electronic pad with a mesh head and it worked beautifully. And now I'm using it as a, a fifth floor tom or a, I guess a second floor tom. I also had a bunch of these cymbals that uh, came off my older kit and uh, I wanted to add them to this, but there's only so many places you can plug stuff into. So I split some stuff and then I came up with something really cool um, that I don't see anybody talking about. So I'm going to make a video on that about this. Some of the videos that I plan on making, you can, they'll actually translate over to game rooms and people who have a bunch of pinball machines or arcade machines or even people that have arcades. This is, this is a, uh, a sound panel that I built for my older studio and I need to build a bunch of these. And what these do is that they absorb sound that are reflecting around in the room. 
So you can, you can build a handful of these and you can put them in just the right spaces and uh, it, it will make the sound of your room sound much better. You have a whole bunch of pinball machines in you know a, a big open room. You have like 10 or 15 pinball machines and everybody's playing at once and it gets kind of noisy. These will help kind of control that sound. So some of the videos I plan on making will, will translate to uh, machine owners and things. I actually, uh, I have a, a little, because of the way my ceilings slant, I have a path that goes around the back of my mixing board that I'm gonna have to travel, and these panels are quite thick. So I thought, well, I'll just get some foam and stick that up on the wall. And I looked on Amazon and there was a whole bunch of foam on, on Amazon for really cheap. Now, last time I bought Oralux foam, it was really expensive, so I thought, well, how good is this stuff? So I ordered some and we're gonna test it. <laughs> so maybe, you know, uh, I do a little review of some uh, odds and ends and stuff that aren't necessarily pinball related. So my workshop is coming along. Um, it, uh, it, I still need to find places for all the things that need places. Uh, one of the videos I wanna make uh, is this project that I'm working on. This is a server rack and uh, it's gonna hold the computers that are up in the studio. One of the problems with computers and studios when you're in the same room is the fan noise that comes out of your computers and you have a, a live sensitive microphone, you can hear the fans. So I have to box this in and build a labyrinth uh, uh, ventilation system for this. I don't see a whole lot of videos on that. So I think that that would be a really cool video to have. Um, not necessarily pinball related at all, but um, still, you know, eh. look, it's high hand. And I have a, a jackpot over here. Jackpot is actually, uh, that'll be a fun project. Uh, this machine works, completely works, minus a couple of little goofy switches and stuff, super filthy. So it's gonna be a really fun uh, start to finish video on Let's take it all apart. Let's clean the play fields. We'll kind of go through it. That's kind of what I have planned for that, but I have to get this mess in order before I do that. What do you think of my wacky walls? I thought that would make for a nice uh, video backdrop, huh? <laughs> oh, that's right. This is a solar battery box um, that I'm, it's actually for my work. I'm, I'm building a special, um, uh, configuration for uh, some stuff related to my work, but it's ideally, hopefully, going to be running off a solar panel. So I built this little battery box. It has a little voltage meter on it, so you can tell how much juice is in there. But I need to know how much uh, how much power is coming into the solar panel, and how much power is in my battery remotely. So I have a Arduino and a Pi. Um, I'm going to mess around with that um, so that we can hopefully uh, get that all configured up fairly easily, reliably. Um, might make a video on that. Might be interesting, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Remember this thing? I'm still tinkering with it. Let me show you what it looks like outside. So it's the end of February. We still have some snow on the ground. And uh, look at this. I finally did something I always wanted to do was build a geodesic dome. Uh, but there you go. Those are my new solar thermal collectors. It's actually a professional uh, gizmo that someone on the island gave me because I didn't know what to do with it. Um, I'll, maybe I'll do another video where I talk more about how that's all set up. And here I'll take you out to the dome. Uh, I was hoping we'd get more snow so that I could actually have an igloo and I would spend the night out in my igloo. But the, the dome is actually really cool because it it uh, it can be negative 10 outside. And if there's a little bit of sun, you come into the dome and it's a nice uh, balmy 20 degrees. And so me and the cats come out here and hang out and play. So I did finally break down and I bought a 3D printer. <laughs> I've been kind of holding off on that because every time I look at them, I'm sort of like, uh, are they there yet? Uh, I don't know. And I got my 3D printer and I got it set up and I did a couple of test, test prints and I just had nothing with problems with it for like the, I don't know, the first five or six prints. And then I, I figured out what was going on with it. I've got it dialed in, it's working. And I'm printing lots of useless little items like this and my little handstands. And, um, but the reason I bought it is, the real reason I bought it is because I actually wanted to know, can we print uh, 
pinball parts, like little posts and little standoffs and other things. Um, I know that some people have been playing around with it, but I don't know the integrity of this stuff. Like these, this feels a little like if you were to fire a pinball at it, it would probably go right through it and print it solid. Maybe it would last a little bit longer. But one of the, one of the things I want to do is I want to build a, a torture chamber for uh, 3D pinball parts, 3D printed pinball parts and get it all set up and just fire pinballs at it nonstop until these things finally shatter. So um, we can kind of test the durability. Like here's here's a factory part. We fired the ball 1800 times at it. It started to break apart. Here's a pinball part. We fired the ball at it X amount of times and this is how it stood up or something. You know, stuff that I've kind of got planned. <laughs> um, so you're probably asking why, uh, why am I putting these videos on a pinball channel uh, well, not the 3D printed parts, but like the acoustic tiles and stuff. Why am I doing that? Why am I putting that on this pinball channel? And part of the reason is um, because I finally got this YouTube channel monetized again, which took a while. It took a little bit of effort, I, you know, whatever. I don't want to lose that because it's helpful. Um, I, I don't make a ton of money off of it, but... I've spent a lot of money on these lights and the cameras and microphones and a bunch of other stuff primarily to make YouTube videos. So it's kind of nice to get a little bit of reimbursement for all of the investment. I don't think that I'm ever going to make all my money back, but <laughs> it's, you know, it's nice to have, you know, every, every, however many months get a little check from YouTube. Um, and it's, it's nice that I'm making content for YouTube. It benefits YouTube. It benefits you. It's nice to see a little bit in return of that. Um, so uh, I don't want this channel to just sort of die off um, while we wait for this pandemic to be over. And, um, it, you know, it might be another six months before I finally get to work on a machine downstairs. So part of it is to keep keep the content flowing on this site in the meantime and then once I get the, the arcade up and running, there'll be a whole bunch more pinball related videos. But for now, this is just sort of a carryover just to keep traffic going to the site and stuff. Um, that was my thought anyway. And uh, um, I'm going to, for all of this non-pinball related stuff, I'll come up with some name for it. Like, hey, it's a seven show or something. <laughs> Seven's wacky idea show. Um, I don't know. I'll come up with something. And uh, I'll name that kind of like how I name my, my videos now. If it's me working on pinball machines, I name them pinball, pinball Arama and then the episode number. Or I suck at pinball and the episode number. So it'll be sort of similar to that. So if you're only here for the pinball content, um, you'll know which ones are not pinball related. It will become a very apparent. And I'll put all those in their own playlist and stuff. But anyway, so uh, that's kind of what's going on. That's sort of my plan. That's what I'm going to be doing for the next handful of months. I was just kind of goofing around and filming it like I always do. And uh, I'll just put them up on this channel and have fun with it. And um, so yeah, let me know in the contents uh, or in the in the comments on, uh, you know, if you have any other interesting things you want to tell me or <laughs> if you have an idea, let me know ideas for like pinball related videos. Because if it's something that I can easily crank out downstairs and show you, I, I can do it. I do have some access to some of my parts and I do have a couple machines set up that I can maybe I can show you some stuff um, but at least I'll be making a list of, of something that you might be interested in later um, so right now I'm going to end this video I'm just rambling at this point so I'm going to as as I do I'm going to go ahead and end this and I'm going to make my video for my uh, for my drum kit because I think that'll be a fun video anyway uh, great right <laughs> thanks for watching <laughs>